This is the Weather Channel. This is the Girls Like Girls podcast. I am your host, Leslie, a.k.a. the Leslie Martinez. The Leslie Martinez. Yes, ma'am. And I am your co-host, Gerald the Realist. And if you don't fucking know that by now, you gotta... Now you motherfucking know. Now you know. This is episode 16. 16. We have a couple. We have Liz and Faith, the most requested from you guys. Here Shut up. Are. Thanks for yeah, requesting really us. Yes, I appreciate We've been dying it. to be on here, actually. So. <laughs> we were supposed to be on, like, your second episode or first episode. We actually yeah, moved here just to, to get on this podcast. What the fuck happened? You guys didn't want to move to AZ sooner. I know. We did. We just couldn't. But you're here now. Yeah. You're here now. <laughs> you're here now, so we're going to talk a little bit about... We're going to get in some crazy shit. All right, so Faith, Faith said, ask you guys anything. And and make them juicy. Anything. Open book over here. This better be the best episode yet. It is episode sixteen. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, and make sure you drop a comment after. All right. So you guys just moved from California. So tell us the the number one thing you hate about Arizona so far. Um, I think it's I have pretty one. obvious. <laughs> no, I have one. Um, the water. I don't know what's up with the water here, but no matter how much soap you use or how much like how much you clean your pots and pans, your dishes, there is always like dried water marks on your shit. And I looked it up and you guys have hard water oh, and we don't have that. Yeah. And I hate it. It makes my hair feel weird. It makes my dishes all nasty. Like how the fuck did I not know that? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's pretty. That's crazy. That's I feel like You're not a lot smart. of people know that. There's certain, smart. there's certain people, though, they put it certain systems in their house. Yep. Yeah, yeah we need to do that. Our dishwasher finished. I was like, we ain't ever using this again. I thought all the dishes were still dirty. No, I literally called my mom. I took a picture. I was like, what's happening? Like, my, I washed my dishes, and they're not clean. Like, I don't get it. And she was like, it's because they have hard water over there. You need to get the special stuff. Bought it. Didn't do anything. But I haven't answered the question yet. Answer, answer, <laughs> answer, answer. Here we go, here we go. My least favorite thing about Arizona is obviously the heat. But it's also the best thing. Um, I'm literally sweating under my clothes right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're only wearing a long sleeve. Long yeah, it's sleeve, true. Long pants. Long sleeve and pants. I'm not ready to retire my winter clothes yet. Because <laughs> in California, it gets like a little chilly at night, it's right? A little chilly. Mm-hmm. And during the day, it's like 80 over here. It's yeah, like 115 at all times. Like, doesn't matter what time it is. We just getting started, too. We still got like another two months of that. Phone starts to overheat. That's when you know it's hot. When your phone's like, yeah. cool down. <laughs> I keep mine in the Mayday, shade. Mayday, back up. <laughs> back it up, back it up. How did you guys meet? For those people who that don't know. Um, so I'm from Canada, Vancouver, Canada. She's from LA and um I found her on my explore page. I was literally just like at night going to my Instagram. She was on on my explore page and I was like, let me hit her up because I was still in the closet. So I was like, nobody's gonna know that I'm gay because she's from LA. So I hit her up and she replied like quick and gave me her number. That is not true. She I had to think thirsty, about it for a while. No. She gave me her number the same day after like five words back and forth. How, wait, hey, how'd you slide hey, in? Hey, hi. Hey there. Oh my oh, gosh, she I had, had no some, game. I had some, yeah, I said some cringe shit. I don't like, even know. I just what? replied because she was fine, but she had no game. I didn't know how With to that message first a girl. Message. I was like, what like, do hey, I girl. say? Like, hey, girly. Yeah. Hey, girly. Hey, she said, you are so freaking fine really <laughs> yeah, yeah oh. no i i literally had no idea how to like get at a girl but i was like let me just try let me just do it i yeah. don't know her oh. snaps for being brave thank you, you miss 100 percent of your shots thank you, you. and i replied because i just finished talking to the last girl i was talking to literally three days ago and so this girl from canada slides in my dm so i'm like well she's far like i could just flirt for fun we were kind of both on the same thing of like nobody's gonna know like it's kind of a for fun type of thing you Mm -hmm. know just like a whatever vibe yeah because i don't know i feel like as a lesbian on social media like there's so many like times you meet girls that live far as fuck and you know you just flirt with them for a little bit and that's it yeah or is it just me on that do you? I mean, well, just do you? No, I think that was a just you type of thing. Oh well, yeah, I was. 
You were a little I had hoes in different area Dude, codes. She was. She for, was. I could see that. Before me, she was. I was hey, like, hey, you see that? Before, before me. P I M P. You you talked to so many girls before me. You That's had, not true. Yeah, how many? How many? I feel like Count for them. her, it's not a Count lot, them. but it's a lot. I don't tell you, Mark. Put your fingers up. I know of like eye. five, and I feel like that's a lot. Babe, there's just, something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> just, re- just redirect that shit. Smart, smart, not you trying to change no, the subject. Smart, 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 smart. Anyways, but like, what do you guys so, consider like um, uh, talking like a lot of people? You know, I think talking is one thing. Dating, flirting is for fun is another. Huh? I'm sorry. Flirting for fun is another. Like that isn't. That's not that's considered like, talking to someone. Oh uh, well, kind of. Here we go. Mm, she no. would also Here drive go. though, like a far length to see people. Like ten miles. Yeah, yeah but th- those are like girls. Like I was like Girl. talking to. Yeah, but there was a little bit. Actually, of there was only one. It's okay to talk to multiple people if you're single. I think that's yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. But. But if you're but, going on dates every other like every day, like dang, like, that's what I'm saying. You can't be like, hey, I really like you, but. Yo, you still trying to kick it tonight? Yeah. You like can't I like you, that. and like, I like you, and I like you. No. Oh, no, I, I did one at a time, for I sure. you go, like, hey, you want to kick it tonight? For sure. Hey, you want to kick it tonight? And then, like, once you really come to a realization, like, who you really like or what you're really that, about. That's why you invite them all to one, you know, one time. You don't. Yeah. So you have all your you options in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Which you make the option. best the best choice. See. Oh, you got a little bit of, oh, she got a bigger nose. You're like, uh, <laughs> next. I talk next. <laughs> okay, so you were straight before. Um, or were so you like, straight because you had to be straight, or you were just talking? Pretty much. In literally the seventh grade was the first time I like tried to come out, and it did not work at all. Also, where I'm from is like a kind of like a smaller area of like nobody's gay. Like I literally didn't have one friend that was gay. Like I didn't know anybody that was gay in my area. I didn't even know what being gay was until the seventh grade, and there was one girl who came out. And as soon as I like saw that she was bi, I was like, "Ooh, what's that?" Like as soon, like right away, nobody cared, and I was like, "What is that?" And started talking to her right away. But like, I thought, because you know, you still have your type, you still like, yeah. you have to like. And she was just not that, yeah. so I just assumed I was like, "Okay, I don't like it." You know, like it's not for me. I tried it; it's not for me. But she just wasn't. She just wasn't she the person. Wasn't the she just wasn't the type. The first one never. Is. I yeah. confirmed yeah. it though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's facts. <laughs> so, did you care that she was talking to guys before? Um, of course. Uh, but um, you know, when they switch teams, that makes your head big as fuck. So, <laughs> feel you on that. It doesn't phase me anymore. Facts. It shouldn't. Have you guys ever dated a guy before? Oh, yeah. Yeah. First she, boyfriend was in fourth grade. Okay, First boyfriend was second grade. Damn! I'm not playing. I'm playing a little Ishmael. <laughs> Yo, I swear, I'm not even lying. You're like me too. On him. It was Wait, Ishmael? Stupid. Yeah. That was mine. No, was it? He was mine. Are what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Literally, the first guy I ever talked to, I was literally in third grade. I asked my mom if I could date him. She was like, "Fuck no, you're in third grade." Wait, I did that too. I remember being in third grade. I asked my mom if I could have a boyfriend. <laughs> Like, what I was like, no, what the fuck you want a boyfriend for? Yeah, um, my sophomore year is when I, like, stopped. And I was, like, I talked to my first girl in my sophomore year. And I was, like, oh, I like girls for sure. I feel like as soon as you do it and you're confident with doing it, that's when you're, like, okay. Because, like, I would try here and there with, like, you know, just, like, random people. And it was just never – I knew that I liked girls, but it, it just never, like, you know, it was – yeah, it was just not – I don't know. It just like took good enough that you were sure enough. Yeah. yeah, and you know what the thing is? I feel like the biggest thing is with her is that she was so confident in who she was and, like, that she liked girls. Like, she didn't care who knew, who saw, yeah. anything like that. And that's what made me feel so comfortable and, like, confident in it. So, like, the day I met her, it was just, like, it felt normal. It didn't feel like I was doing something weird. Yeah. Whereas, like, before I was like, okay, this is weird. Like, what I'm doing, like, I'm not comfortable, like. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've always been like, fuck it, I like girls or what? Um, no. I dated the f- my first girl when I was a senior. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was a late bloomer. Um, I honestly did not know what like liking girls was until high school. Literally nobody I knew was like gay. Um, until high school, I played basketball. You already know. That it's whole team was gay as fuck. Right. Um... 
The <laughs> wild hooper's, hooper's gotta, gotta be gay. gay. Yeah, oh Dead ass. And at first, I was like super uncomfortable by it. Um, cause I, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. Like I was just like so in denial. I feel like, but I remember like I had hella boyfriends low key. Like I dated like five guys in high school <laughs> and I was like, every time, like I was just not feeling them. Like I would get so bored. Like I would get grossed out. Like if they wanted to be soft with me, I'm like, yo, you little bitch. Like why, <laughs> like why are you like holding me from the back? Like that shit grossed me out. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> And I dead ass thought something was wrong with me. And then I remember I started talking to some girl online. And then that just like confirmed it. Like I was like, okay, this is what it's supposed to feel like. I broke up with this dude on uh, Christmas. Ooh, that's, that's, that's fucked up. No, it was because I didn't have money to get him a gift. Oh, that's even more sad. Okay, that's okay. Are you being for real right now? I'm so serious. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't want to just be like, hey, I don't got money. Wait, have you guys ever... <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. The fact gone out with someone and you pretend like you're not hungry because you don't have enough money to pay for both of you. <laughs> no. Yes. yes. I would I've pretend like that. I'm not hungry because I don't want to eat in front of them, but not because I don't have money. Oh, no. I'll eat in front of you. <laughs> but so when I like dated my first girlfriend, I didn't have money like that. I wasn't working. I had like $10 that like I asked my mom for. Yeah, you can broke his you heart, so. you want. I tell you one thing, we going out to eat and we going to dine and dash in that bitch if I ain't got money, but we eating shit. I don't give a fuck. Well, um, have you guys would you guys ever consider a third person in your relationship asking for a friend? I mean, is Only it you? Only if it's you. <laughs> asking hey, for a friend. Hey, hey. Me and Jay are one to know. Is it you guys? Yeah, fuck no. Never. No. We wouldn't I would never do anything with a third. Would you be yeah. done for a third? Like no, I'm too sensitive for a third fucking person. Okay, okay, that's that's valid. I feel you on that. I'd be sensitive too, shit. That would be hard to do. Nah, it's just like, you know, you gotta respect that. Like, if you're mine, you're mine, and that's that. Yeah. You know, fucking questions or if, ands, or buts. Yeah. There are a lot of theories, though, that um, human beings are polyamorous beings theories you said it keyword theories well look when you're in a relationship when you're in a relationship one and one there's expectations right in the relationship there's it comes with like you say respect but it might be a more of a controlling thing and when like you can have multiple wives or have multiple other people it's because there's no expectations and there's none of that shit so there's more freedom it's just it's just feeling based off feeling but you're still gonna let the other person do what they want yeah yeah see, see but not for me <laughs> to each its own you know i feel like for it's sure, also sure. like even just giving one person attention i mean it's not a lot of effort but like being in a relationship isn't super easy you know like you have to try and you have to put your time and effort so if there's another person now you have to think about both of their feelings both of their love languages like just everything that's what i'm saying like it's way too much for you to like if you can't figure out one person what makes you think you can figure out two hey you guys want to play a game yeah all right so it's called overrated or underrated okay so basically i'm gonna ask you a question and one of you go first then the other one will go so i'm gonna ask you these things and then you say this is overrated or it's underrated you get me Okay, I'm really bad at I instructions. Do. Let me explain to her yeah, real quick. Real. No, it's okay. I got it. No, I got it. I just need like an example, you know? I'm just kidding. We're good. Go. Straps. Overrated. Overrated. Oh, there you go. That was quick. God. Date nights. Underrated. Underrated. Weed. I'm not a smoker. Yeah. I can't answer this. I guess you gotta take a shot. Not either. All right. <laughs> don't ask me twice. alcohol underrated oh, i feel like it like again it depends because like for some people weed calms you down makes you motivated you know gets you up to do things but for other people like us it gives us more anxiety it makes us not get up like so it just depends on the person you know like for me i would consider it overrated because i don't really fuck with it but other people um social media overrated underrated mm. all right sex underrated Mm. honestly overrated in this generation and are we allowed to like yeah yeah, I, yeah, feel yeah. Like I feel like a lot of people in our are just like in general are like very very sexual beings with everything and they're like it's just 
I don't know. For me, I just think it's it's like a lot. You know, like we're I feel like every everybody our age makes sex like a really really big thing. And like yeah, obviously you know it's something to consider. It's like whatever, but I don't know. I feel like it's not the biggest thing in relationships or just I don't know in general. All right, last one: fighting, oh, like fist fighting people. Overrated. I hate fights. I literally hate fighting fights. is so dumb. It doesn't solve anything. Yeah, it's also yeah. I hate fights. Overrated. Hey, so do you guys remember your first kiss or no? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Was Not it memorable? romantic at all. No. I mean, like it was memorable because like I remember, but it wasn't anything special bro i was it like wasn't anything i was getting special. ready to make oh, it happen no not in that way though like obviously it was special but not in the way of like oh we were on a romantic date and i like looked into her eyes and put back. like it was yeah it wasn't like so on a scale from one through ten what do you rate it a ten like how did she like grab you and was like, oh no, no it just was a me. little peg like it was me who initiated it thank you she, she picked me I up, picked up. She, she drove us back to the airbnb and then literally as soon as we got in the room like she was just sitting on the bed and i just kissed her but it wasn't like i thought about it like it just happened and i was just like here we go Hold up. i have a feeling something more than just a kiss happened that time. yeah that couldn't have just been a kiss oh yeah it was definitely oh, yeah more. we were up till like um Damn. no we literally stayed up all night like till like 6 a.m Damn. on that natural ecstasy that's what's up. What's one thing? What's your favorite thing about her? Like, what's the best? What's thing your about favorite her? thing? Not thing. 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 What's the thing lying about her that you like? Honey, you gotta get close to the mic. Honey, sorry. <laughs> like she is so positive. When something happens, she's like, "It's cool. Like, it's fine. Like, we'll do this instead. We'll do that instead." But for me, I'm like, I feel like I'm the one that's like, no. Like, I'm gonna lay in bed and I'm gonna be mad. And honestly, you guys are pretty awesome. Do you guys have like? A relationship goal that you guys have like talked about and you're like hey you know what i want to accomplish this with you i see a lot of stuff a lot sure. we want to get a house like we want to start a year. small business together uh, yeah we, we want to quit our jobs we don't want to be working for other people right. do you know what you guys want to do like what you want to sell or just that's just a vision no honestly we've had a lot of ideas i feel like something in like the fashion type of vibe i feel like whatever it is you guys would do that is. you guys would do great we're just both like perfectionists like everything needs to be like perfect and that's okay but it's not yeah because that shit will make you procrast procrastinate yeah. so much and it'll push you back but like, you'll learn you're, you're, so quick you learn so quick when you keep even if you keep failing and failing you still learn yeah thank, thank you guys, guys for having us thank you for thank you for saying us. yes and coming over we Is appreciate any it. questions that maybe we didn't ask that you guys wanted us to ask <clears throat> or tell wanted them something us to ask the fuck is wrong with me today i feel like i'm talking about this what's you guys uh instagrams or or whatever oh, platform yeah, you sure. want to tell them faith underscore zaluski z-a-l-u-s-k-y Mm. that's honestly all i use mm, my instagram is deleted underscore liz i think yeah my instagram was deleted so i had to start from the bottom that's my new one we'll follow them follow them give them a shout out i'm not even gonna lie this whole time i forgot that camera was there like i knew we were recording and this was here but like i did not look in that one all right well that was episode 16 thank you guys for watching uh see you guys next wednesday we'll have someone else here peace bye bye